The next item, ladies and gentlemen, okay. is the uh, public session. I think most everybody here is uh, here probably to speak on one topic. Uh, I will uh, I will allocate three minutes per speaker. Uh, we have uh, seven people signed up to speak, so I'm going to limit it tonight to three minutes. Now you can share your minutes. Uh, if somebody's covering the same thing that you plan to cover, in the sake of time, you can just uh, say, I pass on it. So, any questions? All right, the first person signed up is Evan Lemkin. Welcome, Evan. Welcome. Oh, and, and by the way, I, I timed three minutes. <laughs> Give your heads up. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Um, hi, my name is Evan Lampkin. I'm 14 years old, and I came here today to talk about building a new skate park. I skate with a group of four or five kids, and finding somewhere good to skate where the police won't tell us to stop or where it's not posted that there's no skating allowed is difficult. We've been told multiple times it's illegal to skate in town, but we haven't found anything in the town or state ordinances that say that. There is no state ordinance prohibiting skateboarding on sidewalks, and when my mom called the town a few years ago, she was told that the town ordinances don't address it at all. I've been going to the church skate park for around four months now, and we are very appreciative that they exist, but they only open one day a week, so we have to find other places throughout town to skate the remaining days. Highland has a skate park, and Cherokee has a skate park, but my friends and I are not old enough to drive yet, so I can't go to those, plus they're at least 30 minutes away. I called the Highlands Park and Rec Center recently to try and get information for this meeting, and Lester Norris, the man I talked to, said the skate park there brings in about 50 kids every day and adds their most used park facility in Highlands. He said the only problem they had was littering, but they managed to fix that by putting up signs. I asked him what they would do differently if they had to do it again, and he said they would make it bigger because of how popular it is. If we had a skate park in Franklin, they would give kids someplace else to skate instead of on the sidewalks and streets. For me, skating is a big part of my life because it helped me make the friends I have today and it helps me take my mind off other things that may be bothering me. I had collarbone surgery in February of this year due to a snowboarding accident, so there was a long period where I couldn't go skating, which means I didn't get to see my friends and I had to get back into the rhythm. But as soon as I was allowed, I went back out. Skating lets kids express themselves and be who they really are. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or someone who's been skating for a while, skating can bring you joy. It's hard to do that here when we're constantly being told it's illegal to skate on the sidewalks or being told it's illegal to skate in town in general. Having a skate park will expand the skating community and get skaters off of Main Street. There is a misconception on skaters. We are not bad kids. I know and skate people that are 20 to 30 years old, so this isn't even just for kids. I've met people skating that I would never have met in school, especially during a pandemic when so many of us are virtually schooling. Skating is for everybody. It doesn't matter your color, age, gender, or socioeconomic background. This is one thing all these people can have in common. If you would consider putting in a skate park here in Franklin, my friends and I would be more than glad to sit down with you and talk about the features and options that could be included in the skate park. Thank you for your time and consideration. And are there any questions? That's great. I think oh. you have a future in politics. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tim Shaw. <clears throat> Pretty much said it all. I, I, I'm glad to see the turnout here. We have a lot of skaters here. There would be more, but some of them go to school. Then they go to Ingalls after school, or they go to Jackson's and work, or they work at the Sunset Restaurant, or at the Taco Bell, so they can't be here, but they're members of the community, and they enjoy skating. I'm a father of two skaters, and we travel around the country, and every city we go to, we stop at the local skate parks and see what they have, see what they have to offer. And it turns out some of the best skate parks in the country are right here in our community, Waynesville, Highlands, Cherokee. Mm -hmm. My kids will load in the car and go to Waynesville occasionally. They'll load up in the car, maybe once a week they go to Highlands, up the Gorge Road. Uh, and then after school, sometimes I get the call where they say, hey, Dad, we're going to skate town. And I cringe when I hear that, because what does that mean? There's no, well, everybody here is advocating for the community to have a safe place to skate, a legal place to skate, and a free place to skate. And it doesn't seem like it'll be too hard. I've talked to some community businesses. Uh, they're like Southern Concrete, they help build Waynesville Skate Park. They're willing to have a conversation with the city about providing materials. There's LBJ Job Corps, they have a concrete finishing program. 
Typically what a city does is they'll pay about $40,000 and get a skate park design firm to come in to build a, to design a skate park that's safe. They'll talk to all the skaters, see what they want. You don't want a flat concrete pad with metal ramps. It's, it's useless. And so these designers will come up with a design and then the community can come together, like I said, with Southern Concrete uh, and uh, help build that park. Yeah. Now, the Waynesville Skate Park, so that added bonus was that it had a strong economic impact. The skate parks, surprisingly, are being used between sunset and sunrise and sunset every day. They're the most used facilities, like you said. I'll repeat that. Waynesville and Highlands, their skate park is the most used facility in their park. So that tells me something. And they both said skating is not a fad. It's an Olympic sport now. And the economic impact is, is the families come in, they'll get a hotel, they'll stay and eat breakfast, the kids will skate, the mothers and fathers will go to their local shops. Some of our ideas was maybe the flat spot at Whitmer property across from Poindexter's. Maybe by the dog park on Frogtown Hill, there's a flat spot right by bathrooms already built there. Perhaps in front of the fire station or police station, there's a pad or there's a, get, there's a park across the street. That would be the safest place in the county for a kid to skate with the police department and the fire department being right there. So anyway, that's my ideas on the skate park. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Dennis Martin. I'll pass. He'll pass. He okay, sir. <laughs> well covered. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Elliott, Scott Elliott. Right here. Welcome, sir. Hello there. <laughs> Please tell me if I go over three minutes. I have no speech prepared, but I've heard about this this morning. I'm a local born resident. My whole life I've lived here. Now, growing up, some like maybe 10, five years old, like somewhere in my early adolescence, somebody handed me one of these, okay? Now, <clears throat> quickly, I, thought, I fell in love with it. And I started skating the street right out here. I've had many skateboards took from me over the years. Uh, I'm not here to try to oppose the law and say that's right or wrong. What I'm here to say is, if there's no place to skateboard, these kids are gonna be on these streets. Um, I had resources, a chance, a hobby, if you will, growing up. My father, my everybody around me helped me pursue this hobby, a chance at just something other than doing drugs that are on these streets. Um, I had the chance to drive these thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of miles over the years to these local skate parks. And I know it's easy for anyone here to say, oh, can they not drive there? No, they cannot drive there. They're 10, 12, 13 year old malleable kids. And these kids need somewhere to go that's not Main Street to get run over. It's not a piece of concrete, it's a chance. I know firsthand that this, alongside Jesus, saved my life. And these kids deserve a chance. I don't know how much this thing's gonna cost. I don't care if it's just a piece of concrete somewhere but there needs to be more than one conversation about this. Skateboarding is here to stay. And if you don't build it, I'm gonna be on Main Street alongside these kids trying to get them off, at least onto the sidewalk. Um, thank you for having this discussion. Uh, I wish there was someone better with words than I am, but I lived it firsthand here in Macon County. It's, I have to, I cannot stress to you guys enough how hard it is for a 10 to 12 year old kid to, to, to convince someone to drive them an hour one way, to sit there three to four hours, and then to drive back an hour. It's not that simple. It is that simple for me. I have a job. Yeah. These kids don't have jobs. These kids don't have resources. Give them a chance. That's, my, that's what I have to say. Well said. Mr. Adam Kimsey. Kimsey. I some loose. 
I'll go over the table too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Council, uh, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just wanted to come basically to kind of further the speech here. Uh, I want to basically lay down my support for all these people, <coughs> young and old, that are looking to uh, reach out to you guys to, to maybe provide them a municipal service that's something that Franklin hasn't considered before. Um, I'm not a skateboarder, I'm not. Um, I've got more city council experience than skateboarding experience. And the, the robot skateboard that your uh, town clerk over here rides around terrifies me. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get hurt on it if I play around on it too much. And so I wanted to come here and try to find some way to support these guys in something that I could uh, have a little experience in. I sat exactly where Mr. Horton sat for four years. Mr. Henning taught me the terrifying word that is liability. Uh, and I'm sure that is the number one reason that the cops come around, not only to protect you from yourself maybe, but they're worried about the liability of the town of Franklin and how town of Franklin is going to be maybe legally perceived as uh, liable in cases where you get hurt on a street or hit by a car. That only, I think, furthers the argument to have a place for them to be, to uh, set ordinances, to get regulations in place, and to consider if there is funding or uh, maybe grant funding opportunities to get this going. I found this. This is basically North Carolina General Statute, Chapter 99E, Article 3. It's out there for the state. I'm not going to read the whole thing. You don't need a bartender to read you the law. But uh, in essence, I'll read the very first, very first sentence because I think it's very important. This purpose of this article is to encourage governmental owners and leasees of property to make that land available to a governmental entity for skateboarding, inline skating, freestyle bicycling. Um, we've already been approached as a council when I was on the council about a pump track, which is freestyle bicycling. Um, this is the second of those three things. Um, I think that's just kind of a sign that it's not a trend, it is a culture, and uh, we need to find a, try to find a way we can to work with these guys and these girls to, uh, to foster that culture. And that's, that's all I have to say. And thank you, sir. <laughs> Mr. Ledford, a.k.a. Jimbo, welcome, hey. sir. Hey. Uh, Mr. Mayor, Town Council, I don't really have a lot to add. They've pretty much said it all, but um, I have supported uh, a skate park or a pump track for a long time, and I still support that idea. I think that there is a, a, a need for it, a need for the kids to have another outlet. Uh, I think in our uh, our future, that single single individual sports are going to have a big part with, with more uh, homeschooling and people staying home and doing stuff. I think that individual sports will have a bigger place in our society. So uh, I don't know what you can do for them, but I encourage you to do what you can do. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Mr. Sutton. Jordan Sutton. Welcome, sir. Mayor, council. I appreciate the opportunity to speak today. Um, found out about this earlier today. Um, as a law enforcement officer in this community, it means a great deal to me that our kids have somewhere safe to have a good time and to be able to vent. Um, I think I have a slightly unique perspective as a law enforcement officer, knowing that the things that we have in this town for kids to do are these kind of sports, these kind of activities, or drugs, unfortunately, mm -hmm. or premarital sex. And the last thing we need is a bunch of young kids running around here on drugs and, and pregnant. Um, so we used to have a, a skating rink, we used to have a bowling alley, we don't have that for these kids anymore. They've got, we've got Parker Meadows, which is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Most people, parents don't even want to drive to Parker Meadows, let alone drive to Waynesville or Highlands for these kids. So we need somewhere safe in town. Uh, my fiance has got two boys, they're you know 15 and 16 years old, I understand personally. Um, not, not only do they need somewhere safe to go, but, but part of the issue is when they're out skating around town, you don't know where your kids are. You know, you know that they're in town somewhere, but you don't know where. If they had a skate park that they could go to, and you know that they're there, they have to sign in and out. If, you know, if there's waivers that need to be signed, things like that, the parents know where they are, they drop them off there, they know where they're going to be when they go to look for them in four hours. And everybody here you know, is in support of this. Show of hands. <laughs> so, you know, I know you guys have decisions to make. Liability is obviously um, a big issue with this, but um, I really think this is a very important thing. So I appreciate your consideration. 
seven thousand. Thank you. Okay, that was everyone that was signed up. Uh, I'd like to just briefly throw out to the board how we might proceed to uh, whether it be a, a citizens committee, a fundraising, or what we might do to get started on this. Uh, would anybody like to volunteer to coordinate? I'm looking at you. I, I, I would love to help in whatever capacity I can. Yeah. Right. I, I, let's I, make I'd you a point, if that's okay. And sure. Uh, let's get with some of these folks. Maybe we can call a meeting just specifically for this, uh, if if that's agreeable with everyone. And uh, let's let's see if we can make the first step and move on. I, I, I doubt seriously if y'all want to sit through any more public hearings you're welcome to do so but uh, uh, that really if, if you want to leave feel free to do so mayor may I make a comment yes you may sir okay uh, I just want to go on record that you know I, I basically echo pretty much that everything was said here in the past few minutes and that our department uh, is just concerned with public safety that being said uh, I had the very fortunate opportunity to be in Highlands as the chief there when the uh, skate park was developed up there and I couldn't uh, think of a, a more single most asset to the town of Highlands since the time I was there when that park was actually instituted and implemented into the town and the community came together to provide that so uh, I would be excited for that to happen uh, in the town of Franklin and know that they've got our full support chief would it be possible for you and some of the skateboarders to get together and come up with somewhere in town that we have right now where we might block a street off or something for uh, once in a while whenever we need it so we could be skateboarding right now uh, till we get some plans or, or in place. Do we have a place that might be conducive to allowing skateboarding in town right now? I'm sure we can do some research. All right, and come let's, up let's let's move in that direction if that's okay with the board. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Moving right along, like I said, feel free to. Uh, <laughs> I'm not trying to run you off, but uh, and if we don't get it done, keep coming. Like yeah. don't just give up. After Stay time. on us. We will yes. Next week. Should yeah. they sign up? Should there be a list where they want to leave phone numbers to be contacted by Mr. Culpepper? Evan, tell us the way. Uh, somebody go by the door. Hey, don't call me. Okay. That's okay. We. That's okay. okay. Thank y'all. Thank you. Okay, let's get back. Uh, Let's come back. Go on, y'all. Next time, I want you to I need your help. You're the red guy. Everybody's right. Let's come back. Go on, ladies and gentlemen. Watch you pass it around on the.